Last in the chain on this fuzz bass is an L2, and I'll play you with and without, and basically we're going to get level out of this, but it's also going to help even out the notes so that it's really kind of a slab of bass instead of being notes quieter, notes louder, which will always happen with bass because the resonant frequencies in the room you record, the bass itself will have some dead spots, things like that. Here's with and without. It's just doing the job, bringing it up in level, but also every note's exactly the same level. Now, I'm using a limiter in this case because, first of all, a limiter is just a compressor with a very high ratio. That's it. 100 to 1 is the definition of now I'm a limiter instead of a compressor, which means you'd have to go up 100 dB on the input before you went up a dB on the output. So it's basically brick wall compressor is what it really is. And in my mind, when I think about compression, first of all, I don't use that much insert compression as you've seen, unless I'm really going for an effect and all buttons in thing, that kind of thing. Just because I always lose a little bit of the natural sound of the instrument. But the way I think about it in my mind is that with a compressor, you're pushing the tops down like that. Whereas with a limiter, especially one set up like the L2, as you bring that threshold slider down, it's like you're pushing your audio up against the ceiling. And whatever hits the top just starts to flatten out, but not in a purely square wave clipped way. It will start to even things out in a way where, because of the way the gain structure is, you're actually bringing up the quiet stuff and the loud stuff just can't get any louder. Now, another way you could solve this if it wasn't a fuzz bass and you really wanted to keep the character of the bass is with a parallel compressor. Then you can over compress it, which will severely even out all the notes. It'll also bring up the reverb. But then as you blend that back in, what'll happen is because the compressor is so consistent, it will sort of lessen the difference between the notes. So that's kind of a best of both worlds thing where you keep the purely natural sound of the uncompressed bass or guitar or whatever it is you're trying to even out. But you get a little bit of the dynamics control that comes from compressing the hell out of something. So the choice is between putting a compressor directly on the instrument, putting a limiter on the instrument instead, or using something parallel, is just about how much of the original character you want to retain. And then you'll start to build up a library in your head of what sounds good in those three different modes, and then you just move on from there. Yeah.